17-year-old Andrew Jin of San Jose, California, wins the top prize in the 2015 Intel Science Talent Search, the nation's most prestigious science competition for high school seniors, which also comes with a cash prize of $150,000. And Andrew joins us now to tell us about his winning project. Welcome, Andrew, and congratulations. Thank you so much. So you just took home this prize Tuesday. How are you feeling right now? Um, I'm still in shock right now. Like, I just totally did not expect to win. And I guess the feeling is just, I'm speechless. And it's going to take a long time for it to sink in, for sure. Well, we're all so happy for you. Tell us about the system you developed for identifying mutations in human DNA sequences. Yes, yeah, so um, the main pro goal of my project was actually to identify these adaptive mutations to sort of figure out how humans sort of evolved over the past maybe 30,000 years or so. And the way I went about doing that was I developed a machine learning approach, and that's kind of where I train models to sort of try to think like scientists in a sense to actually um, identify these very complicated patterns in large data sets that like no human can actually accomplish. So by doing that, I looked at 179 full DNA sequences with 3 billion base pairs of DNA each. And I found a total of 130 potentially adaptive mutations that have to do with a variety of exciting uh, functions, such as uh, immune response or metabolism or brain development even. Fa fantastic. Now, what real world applications do you think your research could have? Yes, so but we sort of, uh, we can sort of through this method kind of, in a sense, time travel back to observe how our ancestors responded to past selective pressures such as infectious disease and diet alteration. And we still see that we're facing a lot of these same challenges today so we can illuminate methods of adapting to these similar challenges. And one mutation that I found that was particularly interesting was a mutation in this receptor that potentially actually confers resistance to diseases such as meningitis or another mutation might confer resistance to viral infections such as influenza or HIV. So pharmaceutical companies or drug companies with more research, they can study mother nature and learn from mother nature's intricate designs which have been refined over the course of tens of thousands of years in order to develop new treatments or vaccines. And I'm sure these companies must already be knocking at your door. What are your plans for the future? Are you heading to college? Yeah, I'm definitely going to be heading to college, and I'll definitely put the prize money to good use towards my education. Do you know which one yet? You're a senior, correct? So you should. Um, yeah, I'm a senior, soon. so it's like, yeah, the results are all going to be coming out pretty soon. So I'm definitely going to uh, try to consider the options, great. and there are a lot of great schools out there. Great, of course. Now, do you want to continue studying genomes? Would you like to continue with your science? Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely, I know that scientific research will be a big part of my. Uh, um, like college education, part of my career after college, and definitely I'm interested in both computer science, the, the machine learning, artificial intelligence aspect, and I'm also interested in the biology, genetics aspect. So um, ideally, I would want to do something at an interface between the two subjects, like something I did over the summer with this project, where I investigated evolution of humans with um, artificial intelligence approaches. But you also have other talents as well. I understand you are a classical pianist who's performed at Carnegie yeah. Hall. Tell us about your, uh, your artistic side. Um, I guess artistically, I just really enjoy playing the piano in my free time to kind of relax from like a stressful day of school or whatever. And I definitely enjoy playing classical piano. My favorite composers are Beethoven and Liszt. All right, Andrew, if you don't mind me asking, what do your parents feed you in the morning? <laughs> Um, in the I'm morning. Kidding. You don't have to ask. Oh. You don't have to answer that. Okay. But congratulations, Andrew, and I'm sure we will be yeah, hearing thank you lots so more from you me. in the years ahead. Thank you for being with us.